Hello, Vi Prem. Hello, Ku Tao. How are you today? You look happy. Yeah, I'm good and so really and very happy. Very good. I'm so happy to see you happy. Yes, me too. Okay. Would you like to share with me what was uh, the thing that made you happy? Uh, I have a uh, new content today. Oh, about what? About uh, a video on YouTube. Uh, it, it's, it is a podcast that, uh, that give my education. All right. Okay, very good. So is that the, uh, like teamwork or you just do it by yourself? Uh, I do it uh, by myself. Right, right. Very good. Okay, P. Prem, as you know that this period, I, um, I would like all of my students to be able to read uh, the text properly, correctly, and fluently. Okay, so you as well uh, would be one of them that uh, need to practice every week. Okay. And okay. um, when you finish reading, you will have to be able to tell me the story in your own words without looking at the screen because I am going to stop sharing the, the screen when you finish reading, okay? Okay. Okay, so uh, you can start when you're ready. Okay. Uh, Casper's story uh, by Pete Lodge. This happened many years ago when I was a much younger man. One night, Melchior, Balthazar, and myself all had the same dream that a new king was to be born. The following night, we saw a new star in the sky. And Melchior, who was the wisest of us, said that it was a sign and that we should follow it. The wisest. Hmm. We packed we packed our supplies and fed our camels and said goodbye to our families. We traveled at night, setting off as soon as we could see the star, and set up our tents to sleep in the middle of the day. We traveled for many weeks, and the weather grew colder and the nights grew longer. Every night, we followed the star, wondering where it would take us. Then, one night in the middle of the winter, when we were all three of us, tired and cold in the snow, we came to a town called Bethlehem. The star was now above us, and Melchior said that we must have arrived at where the king was to be born. We asked, around, we asked around the town, but there were no babies being born that night. Then an innkeeper remembered a man and woman, remembered a man and woman who he had allowed to sleep in the stable of his inn. We tied up our camels and walked across the snow to, be, to the stable. We stopped in the doorway and looked in. Looked in. A man was setting a newborn baby down in a crib, while a woman, looking tired, lay down on a straw bed, tired. We said nothing but laid our, laid our gifts at the end of the crib and kissed the baby on the for hay. Then we left. We stopped in the court, courtyard outside the stable and still silent. Gazed silent, gazed up at the star through the falling snow. The journey back took a long time since then I have heard many stories about what happened at Bethlehem. What happened to me, I know to be true. 
Very good. All right. Okay, P. Prem. So, do you understand the whole story? Um. Yeah, I think so. Okay, and uh, you can remember the story, yes? Yeah, but I I'm not sure that I missed something. Right. Maybe you just tell me um how you understand the story. You know, you don't need to tell me like all the words here. Just like to summarize the story so that I know that how you understand this story, okay? Oh, okay. okay. So I'm going to stop sharing the screen, okay? Okay. Okay. Right, very good. So um, you can start when you're ready. Okay. Uh, the story, uh, it happened uh years ago it had three men that three men <laughs> three men that <laughs> that i remember only one one name of the story uh okay i forgot now okay uh just forget it had three men that Three men, no, it's three men. Three, three men that waiting for a king to born. To be born. To be born. So they're just waiting. And I think that night, yeah, that night, it had some strange star that one of three men know that 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 the side of of a king that have to born now. So they start pack pack their uh, pack their supplies and fit uh, their camels to travel to uh Bel Yeah? Yes. Okay. Yes. And yes. yeah and they are packed packed uh, their supplies and say goodbye to their family and they travel to Bellingham. When they travel to Bellingham, uh, they ask, I think the villager at, at that town or city that uh, have your city have uh, a a baby that will born in this day will be born. New will born be, newborn baby. Okay, newborn baby in this day. But that they say that it don't uh it doesn't have a newborn baby that will that will be born in this day. Mm -hmm. But and some of the guy that I can remember his name too. Uh, that he remember he remembered that there are a man and woman. Uh, a man and a woman with that her pregnant and he give her he give them uh he give them uh the stable to uh to keep the born uh the newborn baby <laughs> I don't know the word newborn baby yeah newborn baby uh and three men start to find that man and woman and finally uh they find man and woman and give and they give a gift to their and kiss a newborn baby mm. and that finish and the end credit 
that he said about uh, it have many stories about the town or city uh, city Bellingham mm. to tell but 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 they didn't tell <laughs> okay okay so do you know the uh, the story uh, who whom did they talk about yeah i think i know that uh, it's about jesus that's right it's about jesus christ and that was on the 24th midnight of 24th of december so it's between 24th and 25th of december so that's that's uh, that's why we call christmas day right okay that's good and the man and the woman do you know their names uh I can't remember. No, they, they didn't I, mention the name. They didn't mention the name of the man and the uh, the woman. The name of the man is Joseph, and the name of the woman who gave birth was Maria. Okay. Okay. So Maria is the mother of Jesus. Okay. Okay. So we call Mother Mary. Okay. Okay. So very good. So that means that Jesus wasn't born in a hospital or in a very uh, luxury place. Yeah, but he born in the store, right? In yeah, in the stable. Yes, that's right. Okay. That that uh the the stable is the place that horse live. Yes, that's on. right. That's right. Uh, do you know why? Why as being as being the uh, Jesus, he he could have you know been born like in a very you know high class or most expensive place in the world, but he did he did not do that when he could do, but he didn't do that. Do you know the reason why? Mm. He, he wants to see uh, a human, the true human life, mm. I think. That's true. And also, um, he wants to uh, show to the world that even if you are a king, you can, you know, you can be born anywhere at any time. Uh, it's like even if you you are poor, you are also still a human being. So better not look down on the poor people. Okay. All right. Very good, Prem. You have done a very, very good job. I'm very happy with that. Okay. All right, Prem. Thank you so much. We'll go to the lesson and do something. Okay. Okay. Okay.